Hi Aries, this is going to be your reading for the first week of October, the first until the sixth, yeah. So I have the competition going on still, check the description for information. You just have to comment whether you want to win the Arcanum deck or the Gilded Tarot and then you've automatically entered. So. As always, check your moon, Venus, and rising if these messages don't resonate with you or if you'd like more insights on your week. So, Aries, what's going on? First week of October. for the first week of October. Oops. Four of Wands, overall energy. Stability, maybe someone's offering you more stability or you're looking for stability. Again, in the same position, the Three of Pentacles. I think it's the same position as the monthly. Wanting to work towards something with someone. Wanting to work together, wanting to cooperate. Maybe the other person is not cooperating, you know? You could feel like somebody is worth, you know, the weight or worth working on. But one, what you're wanting to do is move forward with the Six of Swords. You could be moving on from someone, even though you feel like you could have put more work in or you could have worked together to save the situation to save the relationship but maybe they didn't put in their their effort and it's like forcing you to look look elsewhere you could be meeting someone new you could have met someone new along with the person from the past also still on your mind it's like it's unfortunate that the past had to end for some of you but like looking forward to the future let's see what's going on over here they are reminiscing about you. They see you as the Three of Swords. So maybe you are showing that you, maybe you're, expre you're showing bitterness about the ending of a situation and they see it. Maybe you've dropped hints about it, about you being hurt from the past, from a past situation, and they're seeing you as the Three of Swords. So they're seeing you as heartbroken. They see that you're hurt. So I don't know if, maybe you don't want them to see that, but they are seeing it, so. Right, and you may be wanting a, wanting a new start with this person, some of you, or it could be that you have a new start with somebody new, an air sign. Well, wow. there is conflict between you and someone from the past. Push and pull, arguing. Some of you are dealing with custody battle with kids. Just, you know, that those are major details. This is general, but I do see that here. However, in general, you guys, some of you are having this conflict with someone. And it seems like this person are stronger than you in the situation. Like they're having, like you're having a worse time than they are. Like they are, they are handling their their feelings. 
it could be that they feel strongly about you but something and maybe it's the fights that that has the relationship on hold or has you walking away but definitely there's conflict here king of wands in you as your outcome I do feel like some of you are dealing with a fellow fire sign. They could be uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or they could have that in their chart, one of those signs in their chart or more. Wow, don't I just do. So the connection here, I do feel like it is, at least, at least with the person from the past, it's something that is, a big deal like was a big deal or was a relationship that really kind of impacted you some of you impacted your life with these memories here and the four of wands is the overall energy it's like there's some serious emotional ties with that person from the past even if it was short-lived it's like a soulmate connection but there's too much conflict you had to move forward. Why is the Six of Swords here? Four Aries. Could be dealing with somebody who's in and out of your life. You may be fed up with that. With the in and out. Secrets. Maybe you saw their true colors. Maybe some secret came out and you want to walk away. Maybe you, th you found out about a third party. Why is the three of pentacles? Could be dealing with an Aries. Maybe they don't want to work. They didn't want to... At the time, they didn't want to work with you in order to save the situation. Maybe they just bailed out for some of you. They could have been controlling and maybe... Maybe they were in and out as a way of manipulation, manipulating you. But let's see the ace. Yep. Some of you are hanging on to this person. Some of you wanted a new start with this person from the past. This person you have conflict with, some of you. But for some of you, this is a new a new connection, a new person. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yep. Reminiscent on the past. Somebody's um, still thinking about the past. Their feelings for you are strong, I feel. However, they are keeping it together. They're not showing that they're hurt. They, maybe they're, some of you, for some of you, this person, they don't want to look weak. They don't want to look weak. And so they're putting on this front, you know, putting on this front as if they, don't feel anything, don't have any emotion. Okay. Yep. Four of Wands in reverse. They see that you're, you're hurt over the breakup, over some kind of separation. Five of Wands, what is the conflict about with Aries? Impatient, somebody's impatient. It could be you because you're an Aries and I'm an Aries and I'm just gonna say that because I know I'm impatient. You could be tired of waiting for them to come back, tired of waiting for them to start putting in the work and so you're out the door. Possible secrets came out also. But you, it's like you're not holding your tongue. It's like something happens and you stand up for yourself, like you, you confront them about it right away and it could turn into a fight. That could be the reason for all of the, you know, the conflict. It's just an Aries thing, I mean. That's how we are. 
I'm happy to be Aries. Why is the King of Wands here in the outcome? Let's clarify the outcome for Aries. Great. Looks like you're gonna be choosing between two people. Looks like you're gonna choose someone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like you're not moving on from this person. This this fire sign, possibly a fire sign for some of you. It could be any sign, but you know they could have it in their chart. It's like you want to move away. You want to move away because of secrets or something that came out or them not being them not working with you but you're not walking away six of what six of swords in reverse this is the outcome as as in what is going to happen in the future you're not walking away you you won't be single some of you you may feel like you you're walking away and being single like choosing to be single some of you that's not going to happen you probably end up taking this person back Maybe they decide to work with you because they don't want to lose you because they are reminiscing on the past. But, or it could be that you move from this person who you were with in the past to a fire sign or an, an air sign immediately and like you don't, there's no, there's no singleness here for you. You won't be single anytime soon. So you either go from one person to the other right away or you go back to this person. Maybe they 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 find a way to maybe they they, they decide to co to cooperate. I'm stuttering like mother. <laughs> maybe they decide to cooperate eventually and you end up not walking away or somebody new comes in, but you do have the four of wands as your overall energy so that is stability so maybe that is what they offer you they end up offering you or think about offering you this week coming the coming week so let's pull some advice for this situation aries you got this I mean, if you're a woman, you've got this man here who... He's just not backing down, like... He's fiery, he's passionate. Could be a female if you date females and you're a male or female. This is somebody who isn't backing down. They are fierce. They are fiery. <laughs> they could be the reason for the, these fights. But you're an Aries, so you're fire, so... It could be both of you. A lot of fire energy in this relationship and it's it's a lot to deal with, but you know how passion just brings you back? Like, hate someone but you love them? That's what I see here. Even though you think, you think you're out the door. All right, stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so think positive if you've been if you're mad at this person if you guys are feuding right now and you do secretly low-key want them back <laughs> be positive about the situation okay so what else do we have for aries true love this is the romance of a lifetime. Keep an open mind. Yep. I do feel like 
you guys, some of you, a lot of you are like, hell no, I'm not going back to him or her. Hell no, I'm not taking them back. But it's like, keep an open mind, stay optimistic, true love. It's like, this person could drastically improve. With the four of wands as your overall energy, there is possibility of change here. They are reminiscing. They are thinking about you, thinking about the memories. Especially if you are a female and you're dealing with a male, men tend to look back on the good memories and they kind of, like when they miss you, they look back on the good times. They don't really remember the bad times, so that's why they come back. So, I'm just saying. What advice do we have for Aries? <laughs> oh. Medicine woman, you are a channel for healing, divine healing power. Could be dealing with someone who has passed her who feels better when they're with you. That could be why they come back. Your healing energy. Rhythms and cycles and rhythms under the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. Past life, shocking. Not really. <laughs> this situation involves your past life memories. Oh, at the bottom of this deck, we had let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So while you're saying, some of you are saying, nope, guess what? It seems like the universe is saying something else and it's like out of your control. I know. But I did say that some of you will be actually moving on from this person because we do have an ace. So in a general reading to me, that is the possibility of someone new coming into your life regardless of where it is in the reading. So those of you who are just probably blocked this person and has given them no way to even to get in, to even message you, you can expect someone new, but I'm telling you, someone's coming back around, this fiery person, they're coming back around. Whoever it is you have this conflict with, this passion runs deep, and that's why it's not gonna go away so easy. Even, it could even look that way, but it's not. Okay, so Aries, that was your reading for the week. First week of October, the 1st to the 6th. 6th? However you say that. Um, competition going on. Check the description for information. Comment whether you'd like to win the Arcanum deck or the Gilded Tarot deck. Winner will be announced at the end of October. Uh, check your movie Venus and Rising if these messages didn't mes didn't message didn't resonate with you all the way or if you'd like more insight on your week. And thank you for your amazing comments and thank you for watching.